morning y'all boys <sighs> welcome to another video um we got a little vlog today a lot i just woke up it's 9 10 in the morning um i really don't feel like doing a whole lot of talking i am gonna go to get breakfast at about 9 20 9 30 ish uh go get some eggs and bacon for breakfast and then um after that i'm gonna walk over to the gym i'm gonna do probably an hour worth of study hall hour or two um and i'm just gonna knock out any little bit of homework that's kind of been lingering, um, things that I need to knock out, stuff like that. We have these blackout curtains. I think I showed you guys these once before. I don't really know how to open them, so we're about to, we're about to see how to... There's our blinds. I'll be honest, bruh. It is different walking around with an actual camera. Uh, it's one thing to like record on the phone. Walking around with a camera doesn't put you on a pedestal, but a lot more people looking at you and... Sometimes I just don't even like to deal with it for real. Let me show you guys this Bible verse that I was reading this morning. It's in 1 John. I've been reading 1 John. 1 John talks a lot about love. I've been trying to implement that in my relationship um, and also my interactions with other people. Um, but yeah, 1 John. 1 John 3 verse 1. Father has loved us so much. This shows us how much he loved us. We are called children of God and we really are his children. But the people in the world don't understand that we are God's children because they have not known him. It's a lot of sense, not really a whole lot to dig into. 1 John 3, verse 7. Dear children, don't let anyone lead you in the wrong way. Christ always did what was right. So to be good like Christ, you must do what is right. You know what I'm saying? Simple. 1 John 3, verse 13. Brothers and sisters, don't be surprised when the people of this world hate you. Anyone who hates a fellow a fellow believer is a murderer. Know that no murderer has eternal life. This is how we know what real love is. Jesus gave his life for us, so we should give our lives for each other as brothers and sisters. And that's just like one thing to take in your day to day. Um, in my recent Bible study, we were talking about God loves you as much as he loves Jesus. And I thought that was huge. I never thought about that, but you wouldn't send your only son um, to die for our sins if you didn't love us as much as you loved him. Which was crazy to me. Pretty hard concept to grasp. Um, but that's just like a couple verses that I've been trying to do. Keep myself um, going. Keep myself grounded. Keep myself Christ-centered um, in a world and school where it's not. So thank you guys for watching the recent videos and everything. If you're new here, gotta find some clothes, bro. I'll find some clothes and shirts and stuff. I'm gonna go. I don't even know for real, bro. I'll see y'all down and figure this out. All right, y'all, so right now I'm about to go over to the study hall building. I'm gonna drive over there because around 11.30ish, I'm gonna go eat lunch with my brother. Does it make sense to like walk all the way back here and then try to go all the way over there, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna lie, for breakfast, probably had about six eggs, maybe eight pieces of bacon, and I also had like one waffle, or one pancake, but I've been eating more protein, stuff like that in the morning. So I ain't gonna lie, that was probably the worst eating experience like I've ever had. I wasn't really gonna mention it to the video. Usually I eat breakfast by myself, and sometimes do dinner, like depending on the time of the day. I think it was because I was like trying to record. Yeah, that was awful. Did not feel good. Worried about like people like seeing me recording or dumb, you know, dumb stuff like that. But yeah, that was that wasn't that great. Food was pretty good though. Stomach is full. Like I was saying, I'm about to go to study hall, so I'm gonna go. I'm not bringing the camera in there. I'll probably pick you guys up afterwards. I'll probably leave at like 11:30, which will be like an hour worth of study hall. I was telling you guys we have to get like three hours a week. Um, I did an hour on Tuesday. Um, I didn't really get to go on Wednesday. I tried to knock out another hour while I'm in there today. I got live at bats like I was telling you guys. Study hall right now. I'll try to find somewhere to park. I'll pick the camera up around 1130. I'll see you guys when I finish in here. So just finished study hall. Uh, I actually got a lot done, which is pretty cool. Sometimes people just go in there and just kind of like waste time or just kind of, you know, go because you have to. Like you do go because you have to, but I actually did get some stuff done. Tried to be intentional. The one thing about it, there's nobody in there who kind of like holds you accountable if you're going to do it or not. Really up to you, you know what I mean? Um, so you can go in there and kind of waste your time. And if they see it kind of be like too ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? 
They might say something to you, but besides that, it's really up to you. And it's your time that you're using, so why not just kind of use it and knock out some work? Anyways, to be back up the field at probably like 1.45, 2 o'clock-ish, because we have live at best today, which will be really interesting. I'm trying to go into a very open-minded. Part of me wants to be a little nervous, considering I haven't really seen anything that fast in like a little while. But it's not even just about the fastball. It's kind of like how much the ball spent and everything, too. Really like a lot of the assignments I was doing, read and answer questions, uh, so it wasn't really hard and then I'm reading like half the things it was talking about was literally basically like everything I was feeling in regards to like you know how I was saying like how like I felt breakfast was very like kind of trash in a sense you know what I mean like in there by myself the whole time not really I wouldn't say like I was conscious about people looking at me more of the sense of like I was really just by myself and I know it's like something as stupid as like eating so then I'm reading the stupid paragraphs and everything for the assignment and the whole time bro it's like first when you get to college it's the excitement and and then it's the realization and it's the mental isolation and then it's the adjustment and then the fifth part is like finding the balance point i'm just sitting there and i'm like are you dead serious bro like are we seriously about to sit here no i was just like bro there's no way like that's what this whole thing is about and it was you know what i'm saying the whole thing was about that Shut up, boys. So I'm at my house right now but right, i'm about to get like a cold cup of water because we do have conditions but i'm about to let the dog out I head back to school to like get ready for live abuse and everything. I'm not a big dog guy, if you guys knew or didn't know. I'm not really big with dogs or like animals in general. Like it's a lot of work. Like for me, I don't know. I haven't really found it like necessary. You wanna go out? Come on. Right now it's only 1.30. I can't record live at bats and tell you about the day is low-key felt so muddy. Um, just like energy-wise, just has not felt that great. Kind of in the mud a little bit. Been trying to like stay positive about it, of course. My energy just feels like trash. Wouldn't say I'm tired. I definitely have ate. Probably could drink a lot more. I think I'm about to get ready to go to the field. Give myself a couple minutes to get stretched and loosed in now. I was just thinking, but times where I like feel nothing, kind of catch myself wandering a little bit. I always like to read the Bible. Cool thing about the Bible is every time you feel something, see something, say something, somebody set up before you. Um, and there's something in the Bible that talks about it or discusses it or teach you a lesson or even just gain uh, general knowledge on it. Now, I'm about to leave. Head back over to campus. I gotta get some energy going. I'm about to get some freaking pizza. I might have to talk to y'all about these live at bats in a little bit though. Cause that was something else. I got the uh, two pepperonis. And then if I could just get a drink as well. Pepperonis. Yes. What are you filming? I'm a YouTuber. I do YouTube. Uh, just basically vlog my life. Um, I play, yeah, I play baseball, so like. That's so cool. Um, so yeah, it's up for here to go. I'll do it here. Thank there you, you go. So much. Thank you. What, Alexandra? I look so unhappy. Dude, I'm. All right, ten percent. Here's the rundown. Live at bats. I got three at bats today. I struck out my first at bat. Ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of thought I would, which is part of the problem. He was sitting 80, 92. It was lefty. We faced two lefties today. It was a ball up. It was a curveball. Three two count. Top of the zone. It was out as a ball on track, man. Strike three. Whatever. Uh, fouled off a ball. Took a fastball out. Strike three on the curveball. Whatever. Not bad at bat. First time I saw college pitching. Then after that, I grounded out. Afterwards, fastball, middle, middle, low, kind of low and in. Um, but I'm swinging a 33-30, the or the voodoo. It's a little heavy. I'm having a hard time kind of like feeling free. Um, like in my swing, I kind of feel like kind of in a box a little bit. But just because it's like heavy and I'm not really like feeling as whippy with the barrel and everything. I saw the ball well. I wouldn't say I was swinging and missing. Half of it was nerves, uh, which is really frustrating because I'm like waiting for the day that I don't have them. Um, and I had them like every day. Even freaking practices. Uh, these aren't even real games. I just, I just don't feel free. Body doesn't feel free. I'm already sore, like off rip, but like I don't feel free in my playing, my hitting and fielding. Uh, I feel like kind of like in this box, you know what I'm saying, to make sure I like cross every T and you know what I'm saying, but I just have a hard time. Uh, just a little bit. Not, I'm not playing bad, but I just like don't feel free. I'm like waiting for the day that I kind of snap out of it, but the day hasn't came yet. 
Uh, so that's that. And I got hit in the freaking ankle, and that jump actually hurt. I actually took like a 3-1 hat. That was the one time I felt like actually pretty good. Uh, second at bat, freaking grinded out again. Fastball in. Just cannot, just cannot get the freaking 33 around. Then on top of not being able to like get it around physically, it feels like in this freaking box, bro. Like I just, like my body feels so tight. Arms, is like my arm literally is so sore right now. I'm not mad at how I did. I feel like I could have done better. Like I was saying, like my, I just feel, I don't feel free. The whole time I'm like running around the place, I'm like in this freaking box. Try to make sure I do everything right, not like hustle, give like 100,000%. Body already feels like butt cheeks because of lifts. I don't think I'm recovering well, like even on our day offs, like I'll get like, we get the weekends off, but like I don't even feel like I'm recovering. Like by the time Monday comes around, I'm still sore from the lift on Friday. I haven't figured that out. And I, I, I sound like a bum, like I'm just sitting here complaining. And I really don't be like telling nobody this, so I just gotta freaking figure it out. That was the live at bats. Grounded out, strike out. I did that twice. So nothing really barreled up. Again, that was like the first time I've seen 88 to 90, 92 on the left side. Um, and these were very experienced guys. So we'll figure it out. I don't think there was anything physically wrong. I think with more repetition, I'll figure it out. I just don't feel free. Like even when I'm freaking running, like I just don't feel like I can like, I don't know. It's not the same. It's like running around like it was before. So I just hope that it, it passes by. I think it will. I've been talking for a long time. I hope it passes by because part of it is a little frustrating. Yeah, that was live at best today. Can't really record a whole lot of that stuff. Like even much in the locker room. Yeah, kind of sucks. So, thanks for watching. Mmm.